Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here with the 13th episode of the Rise of Djibouti. As you know from the previous iterations of the Rise, well we've conquered a huge, huge portion of the world. And we've actually gone to peace with... Now we've actually gone to peace with the rest of the world for the most part. Well, well, yes, we're pretty much at peace with everybody, I think. I don't think there's any wars at all going on that involve us. Now, there are very few countries, major countries anyway, that are left. As you know, we are the greatest military power aside from the United States, and the only reason they're keeping up with us is because of their gigantic navy, which is stationed right above Libya. Now, am I really concerned? Not really, because, again, we own so much of the map, and our economy is just through the roof. Look at that. Our income is almost five trillion dollars, with our total, you know, GDP at thirty trillion dollars. We're doing great, and the average Djiboutian citizen is making a pretty substantial thirty thousand nine hundred dollars a year. Now, the year is 2101. So, as of, as of this year, we've basically been playing for 100 years. So it took 100 years for Djibouti to conquer as much as it did. But the first 70 to 80, you know, I had just taken over the Middle East. Really not bad. Not bad at all. If I do say so myself. So, with that said, we're focusing on more of the economic side for now. As you can see, I don't actually have everything maxed out, surprisingly enough. Why? Because, well, let me show you if I max out education. Bam! Mine is 700 trillion, or billion dollars. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to rise it up a little bit and maintain our high amount of available income. So the question becomes, what's next for Djibouti? What should Djibouti do? You know, we pretty much own everything important. We even have a sizable number of uh, nuclear missiles. And the only major threats that remain are still Italy, who, surprisingly enough, has a decent enough time. I think India. Yeah, India is one of the highest powers left. You could say Russia. I really wouldn't, though, because they've basically been wiped out. So, while I'm building up an army, well, better yet, a navy that's actually going to be able to fight against the United States, what we're going to do now to kind of pass the time is we're going to go to war with Russia. And using what we already have, rather than adding more stuff in, let's see how we do. Oh, look, most of the world's not at war with me. Even the United States doesn't come in on Russia's side. Interesting. Alright, occupy this crap. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Oh! Oh! Djibouti has been nuked! Oh no! Oh, this is terrible! Oh! Oh no! Oh. Oh. They got us. They got us right in our sweet Djibouti. Ooh. You dirty blankets. See, a population... Wow! They killed 90 million Djiboutians! Retribution! Retribution must be swift! Move the army, quick! Before any more noobs can hit us! <laughs> oh, see, you know, I built a missile defense system to kind of hold off some of the nukes, but you'll learn as you play this, your missile defense system is never able to shoot down all of the nukes. Good God. Oh, this this just hurts. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> so many nukes! So many! Oh, man. Let's speed this up a little bit. Make the heartache go by faster. Oh, okay, wait, are, they, are, are we done? Are they done? Okay, I think I think they're done nuking us. So, now that they're done nuking us, let's look at how much damage they did. Wow, they killed a hundred, roughly, a hundred and forty million Djiboutian citizens. Um, 
yeah, we our approval rating is still high. Our stability is gone. And <laughs> the Jabrutian people need retribution. Ooh. What do the Russians have left? For it is time for Djibouti to use its arsenal. Now, I may have held back on you before, but clearly, clearly I was mistaken. We have deployed 500 Jetico missiles. And we are going to fire on Russia for their insult, their insolence, trying to bomb the sweet beauty of Djibouti. It will not fly. Prepare, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment is near. Fire the nukes at the civilian population. Me, 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 me. So flies our nukes. Boom. Now we're not done. Oh no, not by a long shot, you bastards. Find Rush, there we go. Alright, fire at the military. Use both. Fire our nukes at their military as well. Bring down all Russian resistance. Bastards. Oh, they actually shot down a lot of our nukes. Oh. Fuckers. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you bitches. Alright, here we go. I was easy on you before. 44 missiles. Fire! Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's... Ooh, there we go. 44 nuclear missiles. Try to shoot all those down, you douchebags. Oh, they still managed to shoot a lot of them down. Whatever. Whatever. We've done all the damage we needed to do. Russia is no more. Occupy what's left. This hellhole. Speed it up a little bit. And now we shall annex them. Bring Russia into the fold. Yeah, that's right. All right. And we're going to bring in the Ukraine as well. For their assistance in helping the Russian blackguards against the Djiboutian powers that be. Move over there too. Oh, we're, we're gonna retake it. We're gonna retake all of our lands. The Russians took. Why is Denmark in my lands? Whatever. Your next Denmark, possibly. I haven't quite decided yet. So our economy is um, has been hurt. I'm not gonna say crippled, but it has been hurt. We've lost almost a trillion dollars in income, and our GDP has gone down at least four to five trillion. Needless to say, this is a tragic, tragic day for Djibouti and her allies being no one. <laughs> Seriously though, it did hurt a little bit. It did. It most definitely did. And I, I, I'm going to hold a service for those lost upon our largest roller coaster so that we can celebrate them in life and acknowledge that they should not have died in such a cowardly way. So now that we've annexed Russia, <laughs> not all of it, mind you, there's still a few pieces here and there that we did not get, but for the most part we got Russia, you know, except for uh, Sikori and, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, you know, whatever that area is in New Germanland. But anyway, we got most of it. And that's all that really matters, if you think about it. Look how the economy has recovered from adding Russia to our conquest. The population's even bigger. <laughs> so, that is what they get. Also, I want to point out, look how awesome Djibouti looks. It looks like a gun. Like an assault rifle of some sort. I don't know, maybe not an assault rifle, but it does look B.A. <laughs> so, we have the coolest country in the world by looks alone makes us cooler than everyone else. Beast mode? a Beast mode. Let's see. I think I lost a lot of my army though. Uh, speed this up a little bit. Two. Th 
some more troops in there. Let's, yeah, let's wipe out this Russian resistance. No, see, I still have most of my army. Thankfully, most of my army was in Russia when they fired their missiles. Not only that, but they aimed at my civilian population. So what they were doing, ladies and gentlemen, my good comrades, is they were aiming at our amusement parks. I was not wrong to bring down the Russians for doing such a terrible war crime. They will be put on trial for their evil. Because, I mean, who can do that? Who can blow up our amusement parks? Our amusement parks are for, for families and fun and soldiers and, and everyone alike. Nobody is limited who can come to our amusement parks, so why bomb them? They were trying to do it to break our morale, ladies and gentlemen. They were trying to break our Djiboutian pride. Bastards. We will bring Russia down, all the way down. As you can see, our next target is actually going to be Sweden. Yes, we're going to bring the Swedes before the Djiboutian Council. <laughs> Make them ride every last one of our amusement park roller coasters. It's going to be brutal. Really, you know, the, the Swedes, if I'm not mistaken, they are the whole reason it took me so long to actually conquer the central areas of Europe. So, I'm gonna make sure to bring them down and get them out of here so that they can't be such a, such a problem this time around. Also, I think they just defeated my navy. They didn't, did they? I think they did. Uh, well, let me call out more ships then. See, this is what happens when you try to be nice to people and you try to integrate them into the perfect society. Everybody just gets mad. It's ridiculous, right? I mean, come on. I'm just trying to offer people nice, good amenities in a nice, happy work environment with nice and happy civilians all around. There's no brain controlling going on here. You're still allowed to be free in the great country of Djibouti. The only price you have to pay is you have to live here. You have to give up whatever cultural crap you had before and accept that there is only Djibouti. I mean, that's it. That's not too much to ask for, is it? Oh, and Jesus, by the way, I've pissed off the world's navy. We're actually, we're fighting the entire navy. The entire, look, look, or all the, all the major powers, including, I think the United States is here, aren't they? Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Well, that's a good thing that they're not, because, you know, that would actually probably be a little bit of a problem. But, anyway. Move the units. Move all of our ships. Into the fray, brothers, into the fray! Oh, look, Iceland has a navy? Really? Wait, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, they have a navy. Who would have thought, right? I would have never expected them to have a navy. Whatever. They will die like the rest. And as an update to the battle going on against the world's coalition against Djibouti, they have a lot of ships. I want to point that out. First off, they have a lot of ships, and relatively speaking, they're, they're holding their own, they're holding their own. They did manage to kill three of my destroyers, and one of my aircraft carriers. God, they just keep getting more and more ships! Christ, you figured they would eventually run out! Oh, did Italy just send more ships in too? Good God, they did! Look, I'm, fight I'm fighting two major sea battles right now, against the world's navies. Oh, come on, Djibouti! I've got money on this battle. Oh damn, I've already lost 13 destroyers. <sighs> Getting a little nervous. We could very well lose this. That's right, comrades. We won the battle. And we've annexed Sweden as well. As you can see, our economy is doing swell. And our population is currently at 1 billion people. That's right. 1 billion of the Earth's denizens are now under the thumb of Djibouti. And with that, I think I will call a close to this particular campaign for today. Thanks for watching, comrades. It's been Commissar Bro. Like, subscribe, the usual favorite, if you would. It always, always makes me feel a little tingly on the inside. Yes, 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 it does. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Thanks, guys, for watching. I know this takes a lot of time, and you guys have been dedicated and watched, you know, 12 other parts, this being the 13th. And it means a lot to me. I thank you, comrades. And 
Continue watching. Who knows what's going to happen next to Djibouti. Or, or should I? Well, I don't actually have any other ones. So, yeah, let's just start with that. All right, so um, we have a fuel tank. The FLT200 fuel tank. Let's see what other parts we've got. All right, we've got the modular girder segment. We've got um, a parachute. All right, we will definitely need a parachute.